Hello, so today we're watching Season 2, Episode 12, Fish Fever, so let's just get on into it. this one. <laughs> this one is actually really funny. It reminds me more of the funny, playful side of season one. And I love this colored piece you found, Gemma. It matches Hector's eyes. Great. It was worth cutting my finger for. I think it's kind of weird that she named a fish Hector. Are you alright? You're looking a bit pale. Yeah, I'm fine. Is that his fish food? Hector's favourite. Anchovy flavoured. I can't even like comment on what she just did. That was weird. It's kind of like her first full moon with the anchovies. Oh, speaking of. Emma, can I have a word? Sure you can. Can you keep a secret? Of course. It's your dad's and my wedding anniversary tomorrow and I'm going to make a romantic dinner for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, I'm cooking lobster thermidor. Really? It's my favourite, is it here? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's your father's favourite too. Now, I want this to say a surprise. Elliot's gonna stay overnight at a friend's place. And you want me to stay at Cleo's. Don't worry, you won't see me. What's that noise? Sardines. What are you taking sardines upstairs for? Why not? Why not? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> She was like, I will enjoy the most as a mermaid in the bath. See you soon, Hector. Hector! I kind of hope that's not a real fish that they had fly out on the floor. Hector! You are such a guts! <laughs> so I'll have to ask Cleo if I can sleep over. If that doesn't work, any place will do. Any place will do. Get me or away, Mum and Dad are having a romantic dinner. Isn't that sweet? Well... They're having lobster thermidor, my favourite. Hi, Wilfred, don't mind me. I hope I'm still romantic when I'm as ancient as them. Feel like fish? For breakfast. Why not? I've got the edge of the tuna. Don't mind me as she's not on the clock working and she's behind the counter and just being weird. What? And now stealing. Mmm, white bait. She's stealing. It's beautiful and crunchy. Just like pretzels. Want some? Mmm, mmm, yum. Mmm, mmm. Oh, salmon. Uh, Emma? Could you leave some for the customers? Sorry. Hey, you know what? I feel like it's me. See ya! That's actually nice of him because she really needs to get that out of her uh, paycheck because salmon? Oh my god. I can't believe I won these free double passes. I never win anything. When you said a date, I thought you were talking about something romantic. But this is romantic. Yeah, I guess so. I love how I instantly stop smiling because Charlotte comes on the screen. Oh, what about the, the train under the volcano ride? That'll be fun. Hey guys, isn't it a beautiful day? I think so. Sardines? Uh, no thanks. What do you- See ya. Did she bring those sardines from home? I wonder if she loved playing this part, kind of like weird and ditzy. Watch. Take a step back. Yikes. Good catch, Cleo. What's that all about? Hey, hey. No claws. 
No claws. I have no idea. None of my fish have ever done anything like this before. Yeah, this little cutie. Technically, since this is filmed at a marine park, there's mermaids that swim in the aquariums to make it like more fun for the people to come see the attractions. Maybe she's been there a lot and never seen a mermaid, so she's thinking, oh my god, it's real. Hold oh, this, Lewis. Where are you going? Oh, don't take too long. I've got a bit of a schedule I'd like to stick to. Schedule? There's lots of rides. And if we want to go on all of them in one day, we need to stick to the plan. Awesome. A mermaid, come quick! Kylie? It's true! A real mermaid! Look! <laughs> come on, it's time for the dolphin show. But Mum, it had a tail and everything! Oh. A real mermaid! I love how Lewis isn't thinking what I just said, how it could be just someone. He's like, wait, I just saw Emma and she was being weird. No! When she gets up, it means I need to go let her out. Let's see if I let her out, then she's gonna scratch on my door to get back in. She's down there. I can't convince her to come out. She's not listening to me. I managed to keep people away so far. I'll but... stay. You guys go. Uh, sorry. You can't go down there. There's been some flooding. It's very dangerous. Flooding is such a good excuse because that is really dangerous because if it like burst, like actually burst down there, then people would die. Cleo. Charlotte, hi. What are you doing here? I work here. Well, not today, but sometimes I just like to hang out here for no reason at all. I mean, she does actually work there, so. Oh, I'm on a date with Lewis. Really? Hope that's going well. I'm on a date with Lewis, but he threw her purse on the ground. He really doesn't care that much about Charlotte. He heard mermaid and went running. Where is he? I don't know, maybe he's abandoned you. He wouldn't do that. We're not going to be able to keep people out of here forever. Hey! Lewis, isn't it? Laurie, hey! I don't know how I would react and what I would say to get him to not look at the mermaid behind him. Great. Can't you feed them later? Nope. Uh, we try to feed them at the same time every day. Oh, that's it's really cool and interesting. Um... Lori! Oh, hey, Cleo, what's up? Uh, anything exciting? No, everything's boring. It's a feeding time. Why don't I help? It's funny how a few episodes ago, her boss, Mrs. Geddes, said uh, that only Strip dolphin trainers or whatever are allowed to feed them, no one else. Cleo just took it from the dolphin trainer and said, I'll help you feed him. And he didn't object, Mrs. Geddes. We've got to get her to the surface. Come on. Emma! Emma! You've got fish! Yes, yes, and if you come out, it's all yours. Hey! We're gonna need more fish. Yeah, she is acting like it's a full moon. It's like she's possessed. It's weird. It's not a full moon. What's going on here? Whatever it is, it's revolting. I'm thirsty. I'll get you a drink. Emma! That's better. Nice one, guys. Emma, what's happened to you? Oh no. Those white scales, that's what Hector. She's looking like a zombie. Zombie mermaid. Why would Emma be acting like your sick fish? The coral. Emma cut herself on a piece of coral. 
I love how he's going after Cleo instead of staying and worrying about Emma. I mean, because obviously he needs to know more about the coral, but still. Corals are strange. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, what about Laurie? He's a marine biologist. He could do some tests. Good idea. Lewis's phone. Lewis's oh. phone. Oh, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. That sounds awful. No, I'm just holding his phone for him. He's not here. He's... He's on the water slide. He really didn't want his phone to get wet. Gotta go. Bye. Uh, I would be pissed if I was Charlotte, but I mean, whatever. We don't like her. And Lewis, in his mind, doesn't think that they're, like, they're not an official couple yet. And so he's like, you've just... It's probably her also trying to keep hanging out with him, so... He still would rather be helping his mermaid friends. Will you hold still? Hold fish! Again with the fish! Forget about the fish! All right, I'll be back in a second. You know, one of the most toxic poisons known is a polytoa toxin found in coral. It's Laurie. Um, Cleo and her fish are very close soulmates. She would really appreciate if you could analyze this ASAP. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'll, uh, I'll do my best. And you know, he's not gonna judge her too much about loving a fish that much, even though it's really for Emma, to be honest, in the fish. Since he's a marine biologist, he, you know, he gets it. He's like, okay, yeah, I mean, I want to help the sea creatures, too. Hey, Ricky, what's up? She's gone. We've got to find her. Cleo, where's Lewis? Where's Lewis? How should I know? You answered his phone earlier. I haven't seen him in ages. Maybe he's gone home. Oh, you're a bad liar, Cleo. Are you trying to ruin our date? What? Why would Cleo be trying to ruin the date when Lewis is the one who would have given the phone to her? Cleo wouldn't steal his phone like Charlotte would. No! Because I've looked everywhere for him and the only person I can find is you. Charlotte, I've got more important things to do right now. Goodbye. And I understand why Cleo's getting an attitude with her because that's her own problem going on. They have enough to worry about with Emma right now. This antitoxin should reverse the effects of the coral. How long will it take? If it works, it should take effect immediately. Charlotte, I, uh, I thought we were meeting at the volcano ride. That's where I am now, and uh, we might get cut out, and you up uh, out. I feel like the volcano ride was where Cleo said that they were earlier. If that's well, maybe there's more than one water slide. Never mind. It is a marine park. <laughs> sea World. Looks like he's on the mend. Great. So the antitoxin works, but the earlier the patient gets it, the better. Yes, otherwise the scale mutation process keeps progressing until it's too late. I'd say we got to him just in time. Any longer and he'd have died for sure. I might take some of this in case other fish are infected. Help yourself. But Mum, I want to see the mermaid again. Really, Kylie, I'm sure if they had someone dressed as a mermaid, they'd advertise it, alright? Let's go. I feel like the dolphin trainer just passing them just now should have said, Mermaid in the water, I haven't heard anything about that. Maybe he's like kid imagination. Monsters too. Poor Emma. I don't know what your game is, Cleo, but whatever it is, just give it up. Look, Shan, maybe Lewis... No, I'm not interested in any more stories. This was meant to be a date. Uh, just tell Lewis I've gone home. Angry suits her. Angry does sue her because she is an angry, mean person. If you hurry, you can still catch her. Emma? No, Charlotte. Maybe later. Guys, Emma was here in the lagoon at feeding time. Chasing fish again? Yeah, but now she's gone. She's got to be after more food. Yeah, but where? You see, he doesn't care about Charlotte at all. Every time they hang out, I'm sure it's Charlotte forcing it on him. Ooh, she's got some gills. Gross. This part makes 
makes me so sad because look at how good Emma's mom looks. She lit all those candles. That's so cute because she's making it super romantic for him. I love that. You look fantastic. Well, it is our anniversary. Come with me. I love how they kind of made this episode like a horror film. It's funny. What was that? I was going to tell you earlier, but I just didn't want to worry you. What? They have such great chemistry. I would really believe that they're a married couple. Well, I thought I heard a noise, like there was someone here. Who's there? Oh, me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, um, don't mind us. We're, we're just passing through. Yeah. Yep, Emma left some things behind. Somebody was here and they took all the lobster. Um, we're just going to go and get Emma's things from upstairs. No, no. I better check the house first. Good for him for not thinking it's the kids, but thinking like, no, I don't want y'all to just go up there if there's someone in the house. Okay, we're right behind you, Mr. Gilbert. With the lobster trail going up the stairs. Why don't you check Elliot's bedroom and I'll check Emma's. Okay, be careful. He said, I'll check Emma's because that's probably where she's gonna be. I don't think she'd be hiding out in Elliot's room. They should have added more makeup to her face or more prosthetics or something because her body looks way worse than her face does. Louis, I'm scared. Who oh, am? All we can do is use the antitoxin. Yeah, she's really scary. It's nothing like the fish. She's like an actual monster. What's going on? Don't come in! Please! Oh, girls. Well, open the door. Come on. Open the door. I love how the dad laughed at first. Like, come on, girls. Like, what? What are you doing? Where am I? And it's like, we didn't want you to come in because we, we found the Emma lobster thief. Asleep asleep earlier. Your yes, daughter. We and we were trying to sneak her out so that you and your wife could have a quiet evening together alone. <gasps> oh, Emma, you didn't. But it looks like she might have sleptwalked, sleepwalked, and ate all the lobster. And she ate all the lobster too on his 50th birthday. I'll link that video down below too. It's funny. Or sad. So you think your folks will ever celebrate their anniversary again? Maybe. But they're never going to let me near another lobster. Well, you'll be glad to know that Hector's back to normal. And you're going to have to do something to make up for this. So are they. I can try and get us back into the marine park. Something romantic. Yes, yeah, Charlotte. You know that you can hire gondolas on the canal? Gondolas? Yes, a romantic trip down the canal by moon. Would I have to paddle? Trust me. Hector's much more normal than those two. Gosh, dude, she's so bossy. Like, I get, yeah, you want romantic things if you're a hopeless romantic and stuff. Like, okay. But you don't have to have it for every single date. And also, I would like the dolphin show and stuff. But maybe he's still thinking about Cleo and how she loves dolphins like I do. <laughs> so, that was episode 12, Fish Fever. And episode 13 is Moonwalker. So I guess it's another... I heard you. I hear you. I'm coming. I guess it's another uh, full moon episode for the next one. So stay tuned for that. 
and subscribe you guys come on we're almost at 300 probably by the time this video is posted we might have 300 or more luckily thank you so much but let's keep going let's get to a thousand three weeks ago which will be about five about yeah five weeks ago when this video will be posted one of my videos got 6,000 views in three weeks that's insane so if I can get that many views I can get at least a thousand subscribers so please subscribe like and comment and I'll see you on the next one